So I printed something cool here today, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's sit down and talk about this. So I got a Bamboo X1 Carbon, and it has the AMS and everything, and I wanted to have some options to raise that. There is a very, very well developed and liked and printed AMS riser. This was gonna be my biggest print project yet at almost uh, two kilograms. And that gave me a little bit of pause, right? So I was like, okay. And it's also, I'm realizing that I have these upside down on the table right now, but let's just ignore that. Um, I was gonna be using over two kilograms of filament by the time I was done with this thing. And, sorry, that's a terrible sound. And I, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna waste two kilograms of filament. So I like to test the filament I'm going to use. I calibrate it if I'm not using bamboo filament and I will print a Benchy. And I also do a uh, silk temperature test ring, even for non-silk PLA. I also do that for the PTG, but I do a tower there. And I like to make sure that I'm gonna get the best results, especially when I'm using this much filament. So I have the Benchy, which brings me to today's sponsor. PCB way. Sorry, I had to do that. I've heard him say that so many times on his channel. Um, I love PCB way. When they reached out and wanted to sponsor a video, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I would love to work with you guys. I asked if they would print something for me on their cool printers. And I just want to show you that. This is so cool. Like this is the coolest thing ever. So PCB way offers lots of services. I'll show you those here in a minute. But I had them print me in aluminum a Benchy, and I am so excited to show this to you guys. Like, this thing is amazing. Like, you can see how well packaged this is, too. Oh, look at that. Like, here's the Benchy. Here's the Benchy. Isn't that satisfying? So, we're here on the PCB Way website, and you've got like your PCB instant quotes, your CNC printing, your PCB assembly electronic design, product capabilities, and shared projects, plus a module store. For the Benchy that I made, I just came down in here into 3D printing. I uploaded my STL file. I put my quantity and filled out all of this. I came over to here and I selected aluminum. And then I made sure I had all of this stuff right. And I just went up here and submitted my request. They approved it, made sure it was going to print fine and everything. And then you just pay, they make it, and your order's on the way. And again, they offer all kinds of services here on the website. Thanks for sponsoring this video, PCB Way. I really, really, really do like you guys. That Benchy is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and put Benchy back up to protect him until I figure out how I want to display him, and we'll move on. So back to my X1 Carbon. You know, I have the AMS, and it sits on top, and there's a lid on top that you can raise. I'll show you that in a little bit. You can use it for venting if you're not doing plastics that need it. So I printed this and it should give me that option. And it's also gonna have storage and it just looks nice. Let me go ahead and assemble it here and then I'll come back and show you. So I've got it all assembled here. Now I can go in and glue it if I'd like, which I probably will because it's it's not fit together the best. There is some play, um, just enough that it'll annoy me a little, but yeah. So you got these options here for drawers. I do have the plate covers for it that we'll go ahead and install here in a second, but I just wanted to show it to you. You can print Gridfinity drawers and stuff for it. I actually have one printed and another one is printing now, and then I'll print you know, my trays to go in the Gridfinity solution. You do have options here on the side that you can print stuff for here. It's hard to see. There you go. I have a spool holder that will slide into here, and you can print other things to go in those two. Um, but yeah, just a nice little stand for that AMS. I don't quite think I have it put together correctly because I've got a gap here. Um, I'm not good at putting things together, as you might be able to tell. So I just realized uh, I only printed one of these. I needed to print two, so I need to do that, and then we'll go ahead and get this set up, and yeah. That gives it a whole lot more rigidity and, and yeah. So let me do that and then we'll get this set up on the printer and show you what it looks like. So ignore that this is on my bed right now. Uh, 
it's just the only good flat place with decent lighting. I just wanted to show you that I installed uh, some LED strip here around the inside, and this should shine down into the X1 Carbon and give me a little bit better lighting than the built-in lighting, so I can do like time-lapse photography. Um, the light on there is all right, but this will give a lot more light into that chamber. Once it gets past the LiDAR, the first step, then I can turn it on and get a good view. Okay, so it is set up now. Um, I have the USB cable coming out for the uh, lights, which I'm going to have to hit a little hot glue with because they're coming detached a little. They don't want to stick to that plastic very well. I probably should have wiped it with alcohol or something first. So you got your drawers, and then I will print, you know, Gridfinity inserts. Sorry, I had to unplug that to put it up there, and it's doing its thing. But yeah, and then I'll be able to stick um, a couple of build plates in here. Right now, I just have a bunch stacked up right here. I'm looking forward to cleaning this up a bunch. Uh, this right here is a spool winder I have to build in another video. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. And then I'm realizing... Mm. that I may have messed up with the light. Yeah, I may have to get more light and another light strip and do it again or try to salvage this one. I'm not going to be able to put the glass on here with this here without this cable dangling down in there. So I will revisit that. That's a small oversight on my part. Darn it. Well, you live, you learn. Uh, don't make that mistake. I should have put it on here before I installed the LED just to kind of see where things were going to sit. I just kind of guessed there. Maybe I'll run it around the top and try that. So let me see if I can salvage this real quick and move it and we'll see what that looks like. <clears throat> okay, I've definitely fixed the lighting. Um, I'm going to see how I like it for a little bit and then I'll probably go in and tack it with hot glue because I don't know how well you can see because of the lights. It's not sticking very well. Um, you see that up in here? So, yeah. But there it is without the light. <laughs> there it is, much improved with the light. But like I said, it's that rope light's not sticking very well after I removed it once. So if I decide I like this, I'll just get my hot glue gun and I'll <clears throat> put a little dab in each corner, you know, call it a day. But yeah, there we go. If I did still want to do something like ABS and, you know, I had the air ducted out to go somewhere safe, I can still put the glass on. So I'm going to print the gasket that they recommend for this version of this riser. Um, I don't really think I need it. And I got more of the impression that the gasket was mostly to kind of cut down on the glare up here because it, it covers where that lighting is. So... We'll try it because I haven't done TPU yet and I've got it drying in the dryer already, but I probably won't go with it because I only have yellow and I don't really want yellow on here, but we'll, we'll see later. And if I uh, do like it, I'll share that on a short or something. But yeah, overall, I'm very satisfied with this thing. Uh, you can print pieces to go in here and then there are things that I'll attach here. I do have a spool holder here that'll go on there. Um, I'm just waiting on a skate bearing for the spool to actually go on. That way, if I wanted to run glow in the dark through here, you know, you don't want to run that through your AMS. So then I could still attach it and do that. But yeah, that's my uh, slightly upgraded X1 Carbon. I really love this thing. It's, it's great. It's been printing this and parts for this for almost a week now since I got it. I haven't really got to play with it much because I've just been upgrading it, you know, things like this to hold the door open and this to prop the glass open to let some of the heat build up out from PLA. And so that's actually not going to work with this, but I should still be able to vent the heat with just having this door open. Because if you're doing a long PLA print, like some of these took 15 hours, the heat can build up and it recommends you take the glass off. I can always just pull the glass out too now. Um, I was just mainly had it propped up with that so that stuff wasn't falling down in there, but now that this is covering it, it should be good. So yeah, the one thing I don't like is, see how many fingerprints are on this glass? That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna have to take that off and clean it because they're on the inside and outside. But yeah, like I love this thing, guys. I will have a link to this X1 Carbon in the sticky comment in the description. I'll also have a link to this AMS riser stand system. It's a lot of printing, but I'm really liking it. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to use the thing for the build plates because I've got them down here already. If I do get more build plates, I'll do that. But I'm absolutely going to use these drawers just to keep little things in like the Allen wrenches for this and maybe some other things, uh, hot ends or whatever. But yeah, thanks for coming to my video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. I know it's annoying to hear that from creators, but it really does help us. I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, I'm not very happy with my W2 job and I would love to try to do YouTube full time. I sure have the subscribers. I just need a little more support and uh, maybe I can do that. And then we can really start making some good quality videos and not so much amateur hour. And yeah, yeah, I know this is messy over here. I've just incorporated two printers into my office and everything's chaotic while I figure out where everything goes. But thanks for stopping by guys. I'll see you in the next one.